Okay. Here's the deal. The king, it's, it, behavior management is simple, and then we as adults uh, make it more difficult. Behavior management is, you got to get the king and the queen on board, okay? The problem is usually from what I've seen, I've worked in centers, and I've worked in family child care, and they're all kids. What I found is that you can't take anything away from the king and the queen because their their brains are beyond. You can hand the king. You see the kings and the queens. They're faster. They're quicker. They're smarter. They're bored out of their minds. You don't hand, you don't hand a classroom of, uh, of kids, or you don't hand a room of kids like here. Cut this thing out with your fingers or with with your scissors or whatever, or tear it out with your fingers. Knowing the king is gonna you're getting ten minutes to do it. Knowing the king's gonna be done in a minute and a half, and now sit there and wait. Why would you even consider doing that? So the king and the queen, it's about figuring out what their unique... I haven't done any yoga riding at all. But let me just get through this and then we'll do yoga riding. Okay? So um, the king and the queen, how to get them on board? Because you laughed when I said they're running your classroom already. You know, the king is the one that, Billy, go do this, and Joe will go do this, blah, 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 and they get in trouble first. And the queen is the one that goes, you're not invited to your own birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> and the kid's like asking the teacher, like, can they do that? She's like, I'm not invited either. I don't know. <laughs> so first time I'm hearing about it. Can I do something to offend you, queen? Okay. <laughs> so what you do is you create a pop, unique, a, pop, a unique positive reinforcer. Unique positive reinforcer. When I ask your group of kids, what's your favorite dinosaur? They all say... T-Rex. T-Rex, T-Rex, right. But then there's the one that goes, well, are you talking omnivore, herbivore, or carnivore? Are you talking about like the brontosaurus or the diplodocus that were the four-legged ones? Are you talking more the T-Rex or the smaller brother, the allosaurus, or the smaller one, the velociraptor? But those aren't the ones with the spikes because the ankylosaurus and the stegosaurus are the ones with the spikes and the three prongs and the jaw my spikes. Now we're talking about triceratops. Okay, so obviously I was slightly interested in dinosaurs. Just a little Okay. But did a teacher of mine ever consider being like, hey, why don't you tell us about dinosaurs? No. Shh. Right? No. Okay, yeah, that works. But if I go up to a child and I ask them, I ask that child, would you like to do a dinosaur show? Meaning, would you like to just go in front of everyone, everyone says crisscross applesauce on the rug or whatever, and he gets to do a dinosaur show for five minutes. First of all, would that child... Take that opportunity on to be in front of everyone. Because oh, yeah. they're doing it anyway. Yeah. And would they be able to keep everybody's attention? Yeah. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching my videos. Ron Schwali here. Just wanted to say I appreciate you. And feel free to like, subscribe, and click on the bell if you want to see more videos coming your way to be alerted. Just thank you so much and feel free to share this content with anybody who you think would find some value from this. Have an awesome, joyous, wonderful, breath-filled rest of your day.